Pardon me, Dean. I'm tall. Hey, look. Mm. You just belch. Mm. Sit up straight. Sit up straight. <laughs> Correct posture. I don't want this back. You get 60 years old, this back is going to be, right? The proper posture. That's what I want, okay? Proper posture. Correct posture, okay? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Straight. Sit up straight, okay? Hey, what's happening guys? Today is Sunday and this is my weekend vlog with my son right here. What's your name? Dean. <laughs> Dean Jr. And we just came from outside playing the snow. It's been crazy. Nine consecutive days of precipitation here in Chicago. It is the third time this has happened on record since uh, I guess the meteorological service has been keeping a record of this. The third time since the early, the, the mid 1800s. And so we've had, I don't know what the record is, but I just went outside and measured the snow. Check this out. So I got my measuring tape here, as you can see. And I'm gonna measure, this is just right here on the sidewalk. Now, somebody came through here with a snow blower. And I wanna see how much snow did we get just in this area? Cause I could, as you can see, it looks all even, right? So I don't think there's any other areas that are higher than others. So we could probably just go, let's see. What seems fair and objective, let's see. Let's go right here. Let's see what we got. This is on the ground right here. And what do we have? We've got, looks like 17 inches. 17 inches of snow. It's about a foot and a half. It's probably been more than that on record. Not only that, we're also making pizza right now. Just got it fresh out the oven. Get ready to demolish this. This is a pepperoni DiGiorno's special. Oh, you're gonna like it today. You're gonna like pepperoni today. I'm a sausage guy. Okay guys, so we went out this weekend. We had a lot of fun. We took the drone out. We had an epic fail, which we're getting ready to share with you in this video. We tried to fly the drone. Um, actually, I tried to fly it yesterday during a snowstorm to get some video. I couldn't do that because my phone was full. So the way it works is with this particular drone, and this is a, parrot, a Bebop Parrot. Some of you that are familiar with drones, you might be familiar with like a Mavic Pro, DJI. They make some really good ones. Uh, several different versions or iterations of drones uh, from DJI, and you can go Google that. But um, this particular drone that I have, it transmits the videos, the HD videos that it records directly to my cell phone. So my phone was full, so I had to do a master reset. Uh, that's a whole nother story. You can go on my Facebook page and okay. read that post. What? That's the oven. Oh. Anyway, that was the time on the oven. But anyway, you can go on my Facebook page and read that story. I had to do a master reset on the iPhone, so I couldn't get the video from the, the, the Bebop to my iPhone. So I had to do that, and then today, me and my son went back out and tried to fly it again. This time, we went to the park, and it was a complete disaster <laughs> so we're gonna share that with you guys so you guys can check that out but before we do that um, my son told me that he wanted an iPhone 10 and this is what he told me yesterday we're at the mall yesterday he said he said and that that um, he didn't give me a, that, that is how you say it. no how you say it? dad no he said dad can dad. I have an iPhone 10 dad would you give me an iPhone 10 and I was like well, what you need that for? He's like, well, I ain't cause I didn't like it. I said, okay, well, you need all. No, I said because it has good features and I like the way it's made. Oh, okay, he says it has good features. <laughs> okay, so if he gets nothing less than a B, and all y'all are my witness, if he gets nothing less than a B, then I will get him an iPhone 10. Now I don't have one. I don't want it yes, because you no, sure I don't. He was gonna get it. I thought about it, but I changed my mind. I actually went and researched it and I looked at the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 10 and so anyway I went and I looked at the iPhone 10 and the features the added features that they put on the 8 and the 10 wasn't worth it from the 7 Plus with the 8 Plus and the 10 you've got the this, uh, added feature on there the Qi wireless charging you can uh, ch charge it wirelessly and of course the iPhone 10 has a touch the face ID which from a security perspective you know I, I I'm really into security as far as IT is concerned. 
or the odds are lower of somebody being able to hack your phone with using facial recognition. But as far as I'm concerned, from my perspective, the Touch ID is just fine. So, didn't want to get it. The iPhone 8 um, and it's with well, the 8 as well have the, have a glass back um, for the Touch ID. I think the camera's a little bit better, and the the chip might be a little bit the uh, processor on the iPhone. I think it's an like A11 might be different from the iPhone 7 Plus. But anyway, enough with that. All right, guys, check it out. We went and we flew the drone. I want you guys to check this out. Oh, we going the long way for the park. Okay. What is up guys, so right now we are in the cold Windy City, Chicago and we are about to go to the park to fly the drone because as you can see, we might get stuck in a tree. The park there has a lot of space and, oh, it's perfect. It has a lot of space there and we just wanted to do it. So right now we're walking to the park. I took this route before. God. Uh. Okay, that's better. So as you can see, we are walking in snow. Let me get you a better look. Right here. Okay, we're in the middle of freaking nowhere, almost. Get the audio room? Yep. Okay. All right, so we are in a park here, not too far from my house. Got the drone out, and this is not a Mavic Pro or anything like any of DJI's like bigger models of drones. It has a really good HD camera on it, so we're just out here trying to have a little bit of fun. The thing with it though is. It's very lightweight, it's not that powerful, so the problem is going to be trying to make sure that the crosswinds don't blow it off nowhere where I can't get it. So let's see. Let's see here as he tries the Pure 87 drone. All right guys, we're out here in the park with the drone, get ready to put it up. Try to see if I can uh, fly it for a little bit. Got my son over there with the T5. And um, let's see what happens. He's about to test out the drone first. Oh, just look how deep the snow is. Like, you ready? Yeah. Here comes the Pure 88 plane taking off in the distance. That's what I was afraid of. What? Huh? Oh. Where'd it go? Do you see where it went? It, it, I saw where it went. It didn't get stuck in a tree though. It's, it fell down in, in the grass. <laughs> that was a bit idea. <laughs> now we all go here. Yeah. I'll see you guys see. in a minute. Okay, so the crosswind is a little bit too heavy. Um, it it got up and it literally it blew it all the way over here. We're gonna really walk over here and see if we can get and get it. But this deep snow, this snow is at least I'd say two feet, two and a half feet. Alright. Okay guys, so you can see I thought it landed over here because it almost went into the tree. But I'm standing on the other side of this gate. Like we had to walk, we was all the way in the middle. We had to walk all the way here. Yep, it's right here. It's still, it's it's still, still together. one piece. But these are, but those, but those are just the things that make it equal enough to fly. Well, this is just uh, barriers to kind of protect the, oh, yeah. the body of it. So, do you think the? Cause I saw it over there. Do you think the wind blew it a little bit? Yeah, the crosswinds then are real high. I mean, you can feel it right where at ground level. You can feel the wind. You feel it's windy, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna be able to maintain this, this posture. So, but we found it. So we're gonna, we're gonna get out of here, I guess. Today is not a good day for flying. You leaving? Yeah, because we, we won't be able to fly today. Oh my God, this is backwards. Hang tight. Whoa. So we can find it. Good times though, it's cold out here. 
Don't you wish piles of snow had mounted up here? Huh? Don't you wish that piles of snow mounted up here? Yeah, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sleep. Okay, that didn't work out too well. <laughs> it blew. As you can see, it blew way, way, way. Probably about 100 or so, 150 feet from us. We're in the middle of the field, and it blew all the way over there by the field house. So we were walking back. This is fun and it's good exercise. Two, two and a half feet of snow. I think my son's tired. Let's see. You tired, D? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're walking back. Cold, cold here in Chicago, but you gotta love the winters here. Hope y'all got a chance to get out here and have some fun in the snow. You want me to do it? Uh, I'm recording. No, oh, close, close this. <laughs> Let's see what he about to do. There it is, fun. Get out here and have some fun with your kids. Kids, get out here and have some fun with your parents. Just get out here and have some fun with somebody. I don't care who it is. <laughs>